Do you feel like you've missed out on the renaissance? And are you the go-to person for highly rated mom and pop restaurants? And do you geek out over historic homes with diverse architecture? Well, we have the neighborhoods for you. The West Side and Avenues in Ventura, mwah, the best. And on this channel, we're gonna give you the straight scoop on what it's like to live, work, and play in Ventura County. We're gonna tell you the good, bad, and the ugly. So if that sounds like an interesting topic to you, be sure to subscribe. And yes, by the way, we are real estate agents. So if you're thinking of moving out this way, please let us know. We'd love to meet and work with you. Let's check out the West Side. There's a lot to love about this eclectic neighborhood at 14,000 plus that runs parallel to Ventura Avenue between the Ventura River Trail to the west and the beautiful foothills area to the east. We'll show you a diversity of homes and architecture ranging from the late 1800s to newly built homes. Spanish style condos, courtyards, tiny homes, and even semi-custom tract homes with amazing views of the mountains, hills, and town below. When compared to other areas of Ventura with homes of the same quality, same lot size, and similar square footage, you can't beat what you get for your money in this area. We will highlight some of the highly rated restaurants, hangouts, nearby farmer's market, historic downtown, and nearby ocean activities. So make sure you watch our interviews with our local residents to get their perspective and tell you all the pluses and also things you might not like. This video is packed full of wonderful information for anyone interested in the Ventura area. The west side is known as the Renaissance District in Ventura. This 600-foot art mule is a representation of how art is so important to this community. Throughout all of the west side, you'll see different murals and pieces of art displayed. Some of the earliest homes were built in this area in the late 1800s, including this one behind me built in the folk Victorian style. The history of the area dates even further back to roughly 200 years ago. A seven mile stone and mortar aqueduct was built, supplying water from the Ventura River all the way to a Franciscan mission built in Ventura. One of the things that gets me so excited about this area are beautiful homes like this with 18th century tile roofing. If you look at the archways and the custom windows, this one has been fully remodeled. It's been fully remodeled, but uh, kept with the same historic um, feel. They used the older um, stoves and fridge. And when you walk in, they have like a little curve to the ceilings and then a tray ceiling. You don't need to have central air. From this home, you can also see you have a little hillside view. One of the things about the historic neighborhood is they have older trees too, have a lot of shade. Also, lots of wires. You're gonna have the overhead wires in some of the west side and abs they've buried the power lines and the telephone lines and stuff but they haven't in this area because everything is staying pretty historic another thing is the lots are a little larger so homes sometimes have their zone to have an adu and a lot of those garages have been converted to an additional unit which means that you don't have parking anymore you have to park on the street. And as you can tell, it gets really busy. Uh, it's harder to find parking. In a historic area, they also have a little larger streets than other parts of West Sides. The historic homes range from about 600 square feet up to about 1,000. And in price right now, they're ranging between 600 to 900,000, depending on if they've been updated or not. Come with us and drive, and you get to see the beautiful architecture with us and geek out with us. We're in the Hills area, east of Ventura Avenue. These 1920s adobe style homes are ranging around from 800 to 1500 square feet. 
they have larger lots around 7,000 square feet, which means they can have an ADU unit or an art studio. Some of them have mountain views, views of the west side community below. They'll back up to the hills area. They also have super small detached garages. They might be large enough to house a Mini Cooper or a motorcycle. So there can be restricted parking in this area, which means people can have to park on the street. The prices on these homes range from around 700 to 900,000, depending on how fully they've been remodeled. And most of them have not been updated. We're at Kellogg Park. That's a newer park brought to the area in 2018. It's a fantastic park. There's a workout area over here. There's a beautiful view of the hills off to the east. There's an amphitheater. They have musical events. There's a quarter mile track that runs around the park. Fantastic playground. There's a group here called the West Side Community Council that was instrumental in bringing this park to fruition. We're near Kellogg Park and these are the 1950s styles homes mixed in with some of our more historic adobe type homes. These 1950 type homes sometimes have asbestos shingles on the side. Um, other times they have the wood siding and they have composite roofs. What they, what's been happening is a lot of revitalization in this area. So these homes are being sold for about 500 to the low 600 and they're being fully renovated and depending on how much they're renovated and how large they are, they're selling between the mid 700s to actually 900s. Smaller size homes like this one, which is around 800 square feet, would go for around 730, 750 right now. And the remodeling that's happening is the white quartz countertop with the gray type of cabinetry and then the luxury laminate flooring. Another thing I love about these homes near Kellogg Park is that there's a community garden and you can go through the community garden straight to Kellogg Park. There's lots of activities you can do in this area. There's an outrigger canoe club, there's a paddleboard club, there's the ocean and there's the Ventura Harbor. There's lots of highly rated restaurants and hangouts up and down Ventura Avenue, including Himalayas, Johnny's, Taqueria, Tepatitlan, there's taco trucks. There's the five-star rated Lovewell Tea and Coffee Company. There's a wonderful Indian restaurant called Indian Rasoy. <laughs> and we're gonna have some fun now. We're gonna go into La Michoacana and have some ice cream. Fun break. at the beautiful Sycamore Village Plan community. These average size tract homes sell from the mid 700s to low 800s, the condos for around 600,000. These homes have clay and concrete tile roofs, which is a pretty big deal because in this area, though it can be windy, also the sun exposure can really wear a regular asphalt shingle roof out quite a bit faster. The HOA here covers maintenance of the front yards, the common areas, and also the pool. The lots tend to be smaller, under 4,000 square feet or so, and they tend to have smaller backyards. So if you like to plant things like we do, this may not be the right area for you. However, if you're interested in newer homes that are higher quality, that's a real selling point to this area and also just the proximity to Ventura Ave. For instance, you could start your morning here by just walking over to the Lovewell Tea and Coffee Company, five-star rated, get your coffee and start your day. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear from some of the residents. Who so I bought a condo here in 2002 on the west side of Ventura. And the reason I did is I was commuting with my son to Santa Barbara and it was the closest place to have an affordable place and to go to Santa Barbara and have a beautiful drive. Another reason that I bought here is that you can walk downtown, walk to the beach, everything's close. There's a bike path right that way, which you can go to Ojai that way, which is about nine miles. And then to town, it's a couple miles and the beach, it's yeah. a couple miles. So and we'll we'll walk downtown. It takes us probably about 30 minutes. We'll go to maybe to happy hour, 
um, go to the beach, you know, and then we could just walk back and not have to worry about, you know, driving or, and then we also do the same thing with our bikes. So it's really convenient for yeah. us. Um, we found that the people, at least we have, that people seem more down to earth and friendly here. And There's a wide variety, variety of people. Yeah, yeah. You could be people watching and you see somebody who looks like they're LA walking down the street and then somebody who's got tattoos all over and piercings. And we love that. It's so fun to people yeah. watch and yeah. just have a diversity of people. We like we walking do. our old dogs who now have to go in the stroller. And they, they do have some really nice farmer's markets here oh, yeah? as well. So they moved it to, to Main Street on Saturday, which is great because I could ride my bike and it's right there on Main Street. They have a whole variety of, you know, fresh fruits, vegetables, fish, things like that. So it's awesome. We love it. Yeah. We're in Brock Hills, which is another hills in West Side. Some of these homes actually back up to open space or up to the higher end of the hill. So you look down over the village and panoramic views of the mountains. These homes are higher end tract homes. They're higher quality of build. The stucco siding, the clay roof tiles, and inside some of them have not been updated yet. And so you'll have carpet and tile counters while others have been fully renovated. They have a more open concept where they've gotten rid of some of the th um, walls that have cut off the different areas, such as the living room and the family room and the kitchen, and it opened it all the way up. And they've redone the counters with a quartz counter and waterfall edge. And those do tend to sell for about a million. There's also a section of townhomes on the hill. It does have a little more of a limited site and they sell for around 700,000. Solana Heights is a higher-end tract home neighborhood development in the Hills area and are newer built in 2017 and 2018. They range from 2,500 to 3,000 square feet and currently sell from 1 to 1.4 million. If these homes were in other parts of Ventura, they would sell for considerably more. There's an HOA at the time of this video which was around $100 a month. They have concrete and clay tile roofs, arches, custom windows, recessed lighting, granite, and quartz countertops. The lots are larger, around 6,000 square feet, but it is mostly home filling up the lot. They have patios and balconies with partial to full views of the mountains, the hillside area, in the town below. Roomy five-piece master bathrooms with separate tub, shower, and dual sinks. Open roomy kitchens with an island. There are parks in the neighborhood and plenty of space for dog walking. The ones on smaller lots with less custom finishes go for around 900000 The townhomes range in the 700s, still around 1600 to 2000 square feet, with a very small courtyard patio and two to three stories. Some of them have galley kitchens which can be a little small and cramped if you're someone who really likes to cook. These homes built in the 1940s to the 1970s are located in the scenic foothills section of the west side neighborhood east of Ventura Avenue. They have either stucco or wood siding and asphalt roofs also with lots of overhead wires in this area. They sell in the low 600s to the mid 800s depending on updates and also square footage, which can vary from 600 to 2,000 square feet. There are also manufactured homes selling in the neighborhood from the low 600s. Manufactured home is a fancy word for mobile home. However, they can be pretty nice, and at first glance, it can be hard to tell if it is, in fact, a manufactured home. And in this neighborhood, you own the land, unlike if you were living in a mobile home park. The lot size average in this area is around 5,000 square feet. However, there are some much larger lots all the way up to 12,000 square feet in this area. Within a two mile walk up and down Ventura Avenue, you can visit numerous restaurants and art galleries. You can also walk along the Ventura River Trail all the way to the downtown, to the historic pedestrian mall down there, which is a super fun place to hang out. Lots of shops and restaurants and cool little stores to go into. You can also walk all the way to the beach, the ocean, the pier, and the boardwalk. We're standing outside the Bell Arts Factory. This is a nonprofit. They have artist-led classes for 
all ages in art and dance. Hi, my name is Stephen Harper. Um, I'm an artist here at Bell Arts Factory, and this is uh, this is my studio. Here's some of my artwork. Uh, welcome. Every first Friday, we have open studio events. Um, there isn't just my studio here. There is a plethora of other artist studios, completely different universes, completely different mediums all throughout the building. And every day artists work tirelessly to bring arts to the people. And so, you know, I think um, the fact that First Fridays, people can come and be around so many different artists and so many different mediums, learn all these routes to trying to create a career for yourself outside of anything. I didn't go to school for this, you know, and that does not mean I don't have anything to learn. But the fact that I was able to be around people who are doing this, who did go to school or didn't go to school, gives me a lot of direct, it removes an obstacle to getting a lot of education. And that's what I think Bell Arts Factory is like really able to offer. The West Side has a lot of different condos and townhome styles, but we are at my favorite. It has three different types of architecture. You're looking at Tuscany and Spanish styles. And if you look, all of the different types of archways and you have the different types of tiles and fountains. It is right next to a busy street. So the one that is closer to the street has a little bit more noise than the two that are further back. The windows are double pane and the residents have said it's not that noisy when you're inside so you don't notice it. You have these beautiful stairs with the accent tiles and even just the curvature of the stairway. It just shows you the type of thoughtfulness when they did these higher end homes. It has studios and ranch style condos, but it also has a two story um, condo. And you're looking at only about 500,000 to 650,000 for these. And you get to be in this amazing environment. These further back courtyards are just not as noisy. You don't notice the street noise. And as you're sitting here, there's a fireplace. And again, you see the archways and the tile roofs, but also if you're looking, there are columns and you can go and sit over underneath there and talk to your friends. They have elevators. They have little outdoor barbecue areas so that you can cook your meat while you're talking with your friends and just enjoying this area with them. So we're in the third courtyard and as you can see, again, a different style of architecture and design. When you're looking on the outside, it doesn't look anything like this. So we are so lucky that the residents have allowed us to come in here and videotape. Another thing that I love about this condo area is that some of the condos have a mountain view, an agricultural, and then on the other side, they have an ocean view. However, Ventura does get foggy days and today tends to be one of them over by the ocean. So we couldn't have a real view to show you. As you can tell, it is by this busy street. And so it's a little hard to find parking. They do have underground parking for residents. Noise, as you can tell, um, there are quite a few homeless people that walk back and forth. Uh, you are right next to a commercial area, so pro or con, you can walk over and get your foods from the supermarket and the different restaurants, but a con is you're right there, so everybody else is doing that too. There are two elementary schools in Westside, and they are rated between below average and average. However, the reviews for them, the parents seem to be very happy, and so do the kids. They really like the teachers and they like the direction that the schools are going in. Westside does have a lot of second language learners and that does affect test scores. However, as we all know, test scores do not equ equate to good schools. They just equate to good testing. The middle school that is in Westside is a magnet school that is directed towards the arts and sciences. And that one people absolutely love. If your child is really into academics and learning and arts and science, then that school has been rated very well by parents again. Test scores are just average to above average on a, depending on if it's math or science. It is a magnet school, so you do have to apply and usually means you get in by a lottery. 
Tiny homes have been all the rage lately. You can even buy one off of Amazon. Well, in the West Side neighborhood, you have little sections that already have tiny homes for you. They're on lots little smaller than 2,000 square feet, and the home is about 440 square feet. There's three of them right here. The one at 650 is a fully remodeled one that is going under contract for about half a million. It's one bedroom, one bathroom. It feels a lot larger because it's an open concept. There's no walls between the kitchen and the living room that it feels very open. If you're interested in seeing a tiny home, we would love to show them to you because they're so much fun to go into. If you notice the house behind me, it actually is a workshop and then the home is behind it. There are permits being given to homes that are going to have commercial use on the base and then condos up above it. If you've made it this far, I know that you have enjoyed our videos. So we put a lot of time and effort into them. If you want us to continue making more videos on Ventura County, then make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, write some notes, give us a text or a phone call and tell us, keep it up. <laughs> and if you are thinking about moving out this way, keep in mind, we are real estate agents. We'd love to meet and work with you. And thanks so much for stopping by.